Please be advised, this podcast is all nonsense. Nothing you hear or see while adventuring with the worm should be taken seriously, or more importantly, fact-checked. Try not to let the mispronunciations distract you from the knowledge being shared. You're just riding with two worms trying to have a good time. Is this, is this thing working? What? Oh my god! We think it's Bunko back working! I don't know. What? Where are we? <laughs> well, I don't know where we are, but we've got a microphone! We're travelling, I've got a long beard now. Uh, you didn't have a beard before. <laughs> yeah, but I've grown a beard from the light years of travelling. I didn't know we could grow beards. I have zero hair. I didn't know that we actually knew how to fly the Wormcraft. We have been hovering outside. <laughs> hovering outside. Planet Earth for ages. That's a very good point. But we did manage to manoeuvre the Wormcraft and... Got lost. Got lost and got back. Yeah. It's almost like we did a 360. Do you reckon we've just been circling Wouldn't it be a, one eight, a 180? 360 would mean we... Got back. Go all the way around. Oh, okay, in a circle. Rather yeah. than going away and coming back. Because I'm thinking line. Yeah, okay. Whereas if you travel down a straight line, go 360 and then travel in a straight line. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. We definitely came back on ourselves. We did come back on ourselves. What happened to that roller coaster? Which, which one? The one with the loop de loops. <laughs> Was it loop de loops? No, it's loop the loop. Ah. But I like loop de loop better. I think ah. it's rusty. I think it's wet and rusty. Why wet? Rain. But it's not raining now. Yeah, but no one's been drying it off. <laughs> okay. Is that how rain gets dried? Someone comes along and mops it up. What do you think towel boys do? I just didn't think they toweled everywhere. Literally everything. Maybe that's why there's so many towel boys. <laughs> it's a, it's a full time, <laughs> high demand job. Let's get paid a lot. They get paid incredibly well. Very wealthy towel boys are. Do you reckon they only get paid in money or fresh towels? The problem is they get paid in money, but they have to buy their own towels. Okay, so like when waiters and waitresses have to buy their own uniform so, or, sort of but because of the volume of towels they have to use that's why they never seem very well off because they have such a deficit from the towels do you reckon they have to have white towels because that would be a pain to launder they don't they throw them away they burn them that's why they've got no money look I'm not saying they're the smartest no wonder this ozone is going mental it's like too many towel burning plants oh my god can you not recycle it towel I don't know it's made from cans. Yeah, like a can towel. Yeah. I don't think they would absorb very well. How are you going to dry the planet with a can towel? That's the towel boys. I'm not a towel boy. Yeah, but they don't use can towels. I'm not a towel boy. I don't know. Should we get jobs as towel boys? We'd have to experience it. We are it. back. We'd have to experience it firsthand. But more importantly, yes, we are back. Oh, after, yeah, we're back. After a long, a long hiatus. Yeah, apparently we're back. Apparently we're back. Yeah. I only came back for cheeseburgers. We did. I've had a hankering for cheeseburgers. We've been real hungry. It's been a long time. Apparently forgot how to put food to our wormhole. No. We, we got, we, we took a wormhole literally, went through one, got lost, did a 360, 180, and we're back here. The old 540. <laughs> the old 540. <laughs> you know, jump on the, jump on the roller coaster, get the, get the old gears oiled up. Not too oiled up. We don't want it slipping off the track. I think we should reopen the the roller coaster to take new admittances. I would love to. Oh well, I'm glad you will. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing. Yeah, I think we should do it. So yeah, it's been a while since we've recorded. Six months, as some of you Earthlings might be aware, you've been going through a pandemic, and we got told to distance, which is we don't what we did, but we got out of broadcast range. Sadly. <laughs> Yeah, apparently you only have radio waves. Yeah, which is unfortunate. You really should update your infrastructure. Yeah, we we needed a, f- a longer ranged wave. So we were stuck in a situation where we couldn't broadcast to your radio waves while we were far away. But we are we're in range again. Yeah. So we'll be back on your Earthling waves. 
<laughs> Earthling waves. Okay, that's good. well. The main thing is we're we're back, whether it be by accident <laughs> Which... or on purpose. <laughs> we're here. we're here, and we've just been made aware that more of you are listening. It would seem, according to your Earthling statistics, we have had quite a few downloads while we've not been recording, and we don't know where from. Well, I presume it's from Earth because only you have the radio waves. However. We don't know who you are, and if you're only downloading us because you now think we're dead and our podcasts are worth more, but keep downloading. Don't, but they're don't... still not worth anything. No. Nope. You can try and sell it. We try it even if no one wants it. You've been trying to sell our podcast. Look, I need that towel money. <laughs> but we'll get the towel money if we just buy towels. Oh, you mean initial startup towel money? Startup towel boy money. <sighs> What if we fashion our own towels? That's a lot of work. Got no yeah, hands. but we got leftover cans from surprise cans. We have got leftover cans. We, it's definitely something we should work on. I feel like I'm in a shower now. But we've got no towels. <laughs> no, we haven't. <laughs> it's going to be wet for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, we would like, if you have downloaded, drop us a message, because we obviously we have no way of knowing who you are. Tweet us, email us, Facebook us, fax us. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn the fax machine back on. (laughs) However you choose to communicate, even if you just want to send us a single emoji, just do it so we know. No, I want more. Start with a single emoji, then form sentences, please. It has to be a fruit emoji of some sort. Fruit emoji? Yeah. Hmm. You can pick any fruit you want, but that's how you have to first communicate with us, and then we'll listen. No rude fruits, so like a pineapple. (laughs) Pineapples aren't rude. rude Whoa, pineapple's the rudest... (laughs) I don't know what pineapples you've been speaking to. I've only dealt with polite pineapples, personally. What polite pineapples do you know? Paul. Paul? Paul the polite pineapple. Oh, wow, okay, well, I don't know him. <laughs> He's the politest guy. I know Patrick the pain in the ass pineapple. <laughs> Never met that one. <laughs> Apparently, I've just met him. But, you know, no, nah, he's a good guy. He just, he's on the wrong path. Okay. Yeah, he thinks he's a coconut. <laughs> I hate coconuts. They're the rudest. Yeah, they just go around knocking things because they're just think they're hard as nails. They do. They're asking people to throw stuff at them, knock them off ledges. Yeah. They always, they always have the phrase, come at me, bro. While they're <laughs> hanging in their trees. And they have the cheek to fall on people and knock them out. Knock them out because they're so hard as nails. Because <laughs> they are hard as nails. Yeah, we'd very much like to know who, who you are. <laughs> that would be great, honestly. We'd love to hear from you. You don't even have to ask us a question. I mean, ask us a question. That would be really helpful, but just say hi. Say hi. Let us know where in the world you are situated because we might we might pop by, do a flyby. And drop whatever. you a towel. <laughs> we'll drop you, yeah. We'll, we'll give you a your own towel. Your own badge? With a ba- towel on it. We'll give you a towel and a badge or a towel with a badge attached to it? A badge with a towel attached to it. Okay, yeah. That obviously, what was I thinking? That makes way know. more sense. If you have forgotten how to get in contact with us, you can con- contact us on our email at connecttotheworms at gmail.com. And uh, Twitter, Twitter. We That's are... what you call it? Something like that? Yeah. It's that at, bird thing. At wondering underscore worms, I think. Oh, it's been so long since I've loaded up the old Twitter. <laughs> yeah, at under, wondering underscore worms, for sure. With an A. And a W. And a... And an N, and a D, and an E, and an I, and an I, and an N, and a G, and then an underscore, and then hopefully you can spell worms. Well, you should be able to. Just look at a worm, and you'll be able to spell worms. Just do whatever comes to your mind. And then we've got our Facebook page, Just Wandering Worms, and an Instagram page. That's a wondering dot worms. It is. Uh-huh. Send us a picture of a cat. Or your favourite worm. Has to be having. Has to wear a hat, though. If you have the skills, throw a hat. If you don't have the skills, wear a hat. Next yeah. to the worm. <laughs> Next to the worm. Because you just like hats. But what you definitely need to take from this is contact us. Like, just get in contact, people. I want to know what you've been up to. And how you've been safe. Yeah. Through hope, your... Hope you're well. Yep. Yeah, that's the main thing. We, we, we came back because we worked out the distancing rules. We're allowed to be a lot closer to Earth than we thought, and we want to check you lovely people are all okay. We hope you are firm and bright. 
Mainly firm. <laughs> More firm than bright. <laughs> I don't want you to be like the sun, because that's too bright. It's or the brightest, some would yeah, say. Or like a laser in the eye. I would feel that's too bright. Potentially like a 40 watt bulb in a large room. Or a, sm- a small room, surely. A, small, a bright light in a small room would be more of a hindrance than a bright light in a large room. Yeah, but I don't want anyone getting blind. Oh, that's fair. Well, anybody think of the women and the children? <laughs> oh my god, the blind kids. And the blind women, apparently. And the blind men. Just Yeah. And the blind animals. We believe everyone can be blind equally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would prefer not everybody is blind yeah, equally. Yeah, prefer that you're not blind, clearly. But if you are blind, that's cool as well. Would you prefer to be blind or have no hands? Oh, <laughs> um, you don't have hands, but if you had hands, if I had human hands, yeah, because they look quite aesthetically pleasing and useful. I think I choose to be blind because then I could still wear gloves. Okay. See, I think I prefer to have hands and be blind because I like wearing sunglasses. Okay, and you've got more of an excuse to wear sunglasses indoors. I can just wear sunglasses all the time and no one's going to judge me. And then you've got a free pass to lick anything you want. You can only eat censoring through taste. Because my hands don't work. Your hands don't work. They're don't, just, I don't they're just your aesthetics. I don't know how hands actually work. I assume people put stuff in them for you. I just thought they were just to hold your gloves. Really? I thought you just put your gloves on them to keep your gloves safe. Oh, uh, like, like decorative ornaments. Yeah. So they're just there to display. To display gloves. Because you can get different types of gloves. You can get rubber gloves. Mittens. Marigolds. They've got their own names. Exactly. I mean, you could have a really fancy collection of gloves. You can eat mitten minders as well, so you don't lose your fancy gloves. Can you use mitten minders for non-mitten gloves? You can, but it's a, it is a, an offense, an, like a criminal offence from what I've heard. So it's not frowned upon? It's not, it's not frowned upon, it's just illegal. Is it a fine or prison time? Prison time. Life. Oh, you know a lot. Of... I've investigated because I wanted I wanted to be a glove connoisseur. And then oh, I... I... <laughs> I thought it was really risky. I thought you were just worried. Or you'd actually done the time already. No, no. I was entertained by the idea of being a glove model. So I was going to buy a pair of hands. So you're not only just interested in gloves. You think you're good enough to become a model. I think I have potential. I think if I got the right pair of hands. Oh, well, if you get to choose your hands. That's it. I was going to get a proper high level pair of hands. Can I choose my sunglasses then? Of course you can. Man, I'm going to be a sunglass model. Gloves model and sunglass model. Oh, we'd be a great pair. We'd sell so many... Gloves and sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so prison time. Is there prison time for wearing sunglasses indoors without being blind? Was it just frowned upon? I've, I would never really pursued being a sunglass model, so I didn't investigate where I could wear them. I, I feel like I'm not prepared for this meeting. <laughs> I'm going to fall short in my interview. If you walk into that interview with sunglasses on and you get instantly arrested, you're going to regret it. You know what? Whack open in Carter. In Carter. I'm ready. In Carter 95. The, the, the best in Carter. The only version we've got. Anything after that is just a lie. It's just irrelevant information. Like, they peaked at 95, and then after that, they were just updating needless articles. Yeah, I think it was just going downhill after that, wasn't it? Everything published was just, what does make up? We've got no more information to tell well, There's people. nothing left to put in there. They had everything by 95. Everything had been discovered. Everything had been discovered. Created. Everything had been filed and loaded into Encarta and shipped. Yep. It's downhill since 95. And then they got pushed to do a 97 release, like... People wanted a sequel. People were like... <laughs> yeah. When you're on that money train as well, you'd be silly not to bring out a sequel. You don't, you don't end... Exactly. You don't end a series. And they, on... got, they got greedy. They did. And they lied, basically. <laughs> Start coming up with some just made-up facts. That's, like, yeah. 97 facts. They just... It was yeah, shocking. 97 new facts. Well, that's, that's how they marketed it. Carter 97, 97 new facts to blow your mind. That's yeah. what the marketing advert was. It's really silly... That they didn't think to use 97 because it was 1997 it came out. I just think they missed a trip there. They're, well, you know, Earthlings, what can you say? Or maybe they couldn't think of 1,997 facts ah, to make up they, in two years. They started making the list. They got to about 85 and they were like, we're running short already. Do you... <laughs> it's almost the end of the year. <laughs> yeah. They were like, do you think we can do another 1,000 or so? And they went, look, I'm going to be honest. We've got three days to publish this. What could... facts have you come up with? Um, cheese can be smellier than blue cheese. And I don't know if that's a lie or not. 
That sounds a lot of cheese bags. It's just 97 cheese bags I think they ended <laughs> on. <laughs> they peaked at C and they were just like, you know, we've got the rest of the alphabet to do. It's like, <laughs> we're blown out. We've got nothing to lie about. The problem is, I think, on the success of 95, they became party animals. And they just partied for the two years. Cut for 96, there wasn't one. We're too busy drunk. 96, they were blacked out. <laughs> they, there was no way they could publish a 96 version. They were gone. Then, obviously they were pushed for a 96 version, but they managed to like delay it. They were hot, still high on the success of 95. Then 97 came around, and they're like, look, you've, you've got to put something out there. It needs yeah. to be done. People are going to forget who you are. Like, yeah. You're going to be one of those bands that just one kind of wonders. disappears. Yeah. yeah, and they didn't want to be that. They stopped tripping on papayas <laughs> and cleaned up their acts. Midway through September of '97, yeah, they really like, back. Yeah. They it took them a while to clean. Apparently, that come down on that papaya juice. It's crazy. So they scrambled together their '97 cheese facts, and that they fell short. And you know, as, as with anything, it sold great because people are expecting a '97 yeah. again. They were like, "Wow!" Everybody watched this, the sequel to anything because if you enjoyed the first one, you give the second one a go. And then people were sitting there comparing the the facts between '95 and '97, yeah. and first thing they noticed was '97 facts were very cheese heavy. That's still all they published on the <laughs> on the front of the CD. <laughs> we're like. What was, so have we got any of the other facts? I don't remember the old ones. Can't just keep recycling. So they just put cheese, cheese emojis, <laughs> pictures of cheese at different angles. Yeah, it was the same cheese. <laughs> and you had the one block in the office. <laughs> yeah, the block. Maybe you got ninety-seven facts about cheese. But only one cheese. <laughs> Do you think they, they ended on cheese because they had like an old buffet and they were like, we need to make up some facts and someone just pointed out they had cheese. Like, cheese? I know what happened. Go on. You know those cocktail sticks that humans serve with cheese and pineapple? Yes. No one likes cheese and pineapple together. I mean, maybe they do, but there was just loads of cheese left over because someone was nabbing the pineapple. Yeah, the pineapple. Yep. They were like, we'll model this cheese. And they just struggled. They got they went on cheese, started on cheese and just, they froze. <laughs> they forgot any other stuff because there was only cheese left. At one point, probably someone did try to raise another fact, and they were like, that's not cheese related. We can't publish that. <laughs> like, can I have other facts? No. And he got fired. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you don't hear much about any Ian Carter's after that, because after that, it's just massively downhill. People were unsettled by the, che- the cheesy turn it took. <laughs> yeah. Especially the lactose intolerant people. Oh, the lactose intolerant. I hated it. <laughs> they just purchased it and they were throwing up all over the place on the continent 37 floppy disks it came on did it still come on floppy disks back then was it cd it came on american cheese slices <laughs> yes <laughs> that you inserted into your floppy drive yes but people were putting it in the cd case <laughs> yeah wrecking their computers that's why they really hate oh it. it caused so many problems people obviously remember the millennium bug i would assume that was a big thing for earth but what well, they, that was caused by by all this cheese yeah. carnage People still trying to install 97. And then... If you put cheese in your computer, it basically starts a virus. Cheesy virus. A cheesy virus. <laughs> because everyone knows cheesy feet, and then it walks down the cables and infects the computer. Well, cheese is basically bacteria, isn't it? It's made by the bacteria in... Blue cheeses? Oh, no, actually, any cheeses? Yes, all cheese. And that's how the bacteria gets into your computer. So one guy just went super rogue and put blue cheese in. Because I reckon computers can handle moderate like cheese. Like cheddar. Yeah, like ched- like a mild cheddar. Mature might be pushing it depending okay. on the model of the computer. So we like talk. an apple might be able to. Yeah. Not an apple, an apple, apple, but a apple computer. A Mac. That's like a really mild cheese. Edam. Edam's a real mild cheese. Is mozzarella quite mild? Uh, yeah, mozzarella is very mild. Milk? Milk's quite mild. <laughs> that is, it's basically not cheese. Some would say it's the mildest of the cheeses. Yeah. It's pre cheese. <laughs> it's the pre cheese warm up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pour that in your computer either. That's it. Uh, that's not designed, but yeah, I've, I've, someone put blue cheese in. The virus is too incompatible, and yeah, started evolving. And that's how the first computer virus was made. Really? I think. No, it's definitely, that's accurate. You know, that was probably one of the Encarters that's got to be true. It would have been in, well, it couldn't have been in 95 because it wouldn't have happened. They should have included yeah. that. But they couldn't have included it in 97 because it hadn't been made yet. If they ever got around to publishing 90, whatever they would have done. Well, no, because it would have to be published in, when was the first computer virus? I thought it was in the Millennium, that's why it's the Millennium book. Yeah, but it took a while to mature, like cheese. Ah, okay, so it was inserted before, in 97 when they did the cheese. And then it matured. Mature cheddar, that's where it came from. And that's where mature cheddar came from. Brings me back to one in a cheeseburger. Gone full, 360, 180. 540. (laughs) So, so seeing as we're back. Orbit. Orbit. Wasn't that chewing gum? I think it's a little chewing gum. Or is it extra now? Unless it's... 
owned by Extra, but the chewing gum was all Wrigley's own it. Or was Wrigley's another thing? I oh, know Wrigley. No Wrigley's. Yeah, Wrigley's Extra. So what's Orbit? Orbit was definitely a chewing gum. Yeah, but is it Wrigley's? Wrigley's Orbit? Extra Orbit. That doesn't make sense. It does because it's Wrigley's the brand. You can't have three names for a chewing gum. Extra chewing gum's two words. Extra because it's really minty, and Orbit because it's round. Okay, that doesn't make sense either. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a maid for the Wormcraft. <laughs> yeah, real good. Say hi, maid. Hi. There you go. Told you. you don't pay me anything. Okay, well we're gonna cut that out now. <laughs> <laughs> we pay every. We pay in towels. It's fine. We just haven't got any at the moment. Yeah, but we're keeping a. Tally. We've got an IOU set up. We pay her in IOU towels because who doesn't want to get paid in towels anyway? I don't know what an IO, IOU is anyway. Three letters. Oh, okay. That, it's it's a piece of paper that says IOU. IOU. Spell what? one zero u twelve. And then a sweet corn emoji. Okay. Before it's opened, and then a sweet corn emoji after it's opened. Ah, okay. We're going to be honest, we saw it on an episode of Regulars, and we didn't know what it meant, but we liked the concept, so we just carried it on. Oh, that's where Wrigley's Extra is. Is it reg- Wrigley's Regulars? <gasps> Maybe it was Wrigley's Regulars. Rig- but it was too much of... I can't even say that. <laughs> that's how he Wrigley's Regulars. People didn't want to buy it, because you don't want to go up to someone who works in a shop and go, can I have some Wrigley's Regu- Regulars? Oh, Rig- and then you, you sound stupid, feel awkward... So nobody was buying their products because of the fear of getting the alliteration wrong. Yeah. What's it called? A tongue twister wrong? Wrigley Regulars. Uh, mm-hmm. No, I don't want any. I'll just have some Orbit. I'll have that some sand. It. Yeah, I don't have anything. This being Cubra. I think they had to change the name. Because people couldn't say it. Well, that makes perfect sense, actually. Well, that, well, that tells that mystery. Well, that's easy. Back on, look, we're back on form. Yeah, it's fine. I'm glad you're listening. So, we thought we'd throw out a question there for us to answer. Just... Because apparently that's what we do. And that's what you like. Because that is what you are downloading. And we do enjoy a question. That's why we're here. So the question. Is seven your favourite number? That's not the question. But is seven your favourite number? Let us know. And if it's not, let us know what it is. Unless it's more than four digits because we can't do... We, we can't long. afford the bandwidth, if we're honest. Like, we're up in Orbi, we have to have a special line to send and receive data, I and mean, it's not cheap. It also takes us a long time, because we have to count that number to say that number. That's the only way you're allowed to say numbers. It's like an abacus. Oh, you have to all start at zero. I'm waiting until we get to number. I'm willing to count to... Actually, so, maybe I'm, make, I'm, make it three. I'm willing to count to 17, I'm going to be honest. After that, I'm stopping, so... If your favourite number is higher than 17... Just say high, Just put greater than 17. That's fine. Oh, yeah. But the greater than sign and then 17. Yeah. For bandwidth. And Can just let us know. Free. And we'll, at least we know for the future, like where you sit. Are you in the 0 to 17 boat or are you higher? And then we'll might, might revisit that in the future. If we could afford more bandwidth, we might increase the numbers to and if, 74. If our attention span gets longer. Yeah. That, that's another span that we have to pay for. Yeah. It's expensive. It's not cheap. This travelling is hard. So the question is, in an end of world situation, would you rather be in a bunker or a treehouse? Essentially something in the ground or up above. Actually, no, bunker or treehouse, you can only choose one or the other. Yeah, that's fair. I'm not letting people just dictate what I answer. Okay, so pros and cons. Okay. Bunker. Yep. It's underground. Most likely. Okay. Is that a pro or a con? You haven't actually answered that? (laughs) Pro. Okay. It's It's underground. Why is it a pro? Because... Wind. Less windy. It's less windy down there, yeah. But I don't think that would make it a pro. I would, because if it's real windy... So where, where do you go in as a hurricane? You go into the bunker. Okay, but if there's a flood... and it's Oh yeah, if it's a flood, you're worse. The bunker's going to flood? Do bunkers have flood irrigation systems? Because if you do have a bunker, and you go into the bunker and there is a flood, that's not ideal. I think it... It's not It's not going to be airtight, but the way it would work is the water would go in and drain out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is, did, would so there water be can, but the thing is, it bypass? depends on how bad the flood is and how high your air tube is. Okay, so the flood is eight bad. Eight bad on a scale of eight. No, a flood. Eight flood. Okay, an eight flood. An eight flood. Yeah. How would that cope? Well, eight floods are pretty minor. Oh, yeah, I know. But right. it's, a, it's, a, it's a sink of water, isn't it? <laughs> It's less than that, I think. It's like a cup of water, cup of water so... thrown at someone but missing them. <laughs> so it's, ah, oh, eight bad, miss them. That person's slightly shocked but not wet. What is bad, though, is nine on the flood. 
is a tsunami. It's a terrible scale, <laughs> and it really doesn't allow for a lot of movement because one to eight and nothing. Also, you don't use decimal, like so you can't use an eight point nope. one. It People goes like, one to eight, which is basically no water to cup of water. Yep. Then tsunami. Yep. It's a horrendous scale. And then obviously it gets even worse than that. So like tens. Well, ten I'd hate to. Well, no, ten, ten's very slightly above nine. It's like a one cup more oh, water into a tsunami. See, I wasn't aware. I've never investigated higher than nine. Uh, well, if basically, if you get to a tsunami, you're not going to need to. That is true. Because <laughs> you ain't getting out. So numbers like a million are probably one, maybe a rise in the water level. I wonder why they made the scale like that. It's just not an accurate representation of how bad a flood is. Eight turned sideways is infinity, though, isn't it? Uh, that, that makes sense, because you go eight, infinity, tsunami... Thank you. Yeah, no, I understand. It's quite sensible, actually. Yeah, actually makes a lot of sense. I wasn't aware of that you'd have to turn the eight. When I got taught the scale, okay. they so, didn't mention it. What happens when you get thrown into a tsunami? I, I'm always educating you, but I'm happy to teach you again. Okay. So you get thrown into a tsunami. What happens to you? You go go everywhere. Well, I normally try and surf. Yep. And then when you come off your surfboard, you're sideways. I'm sideways when I get on the surfboard. And then you see your eight sideways. So, so rather infinity. So it looks like infinity. So it was nine just a buffer, cause it, so it's there. It's slightly broken infinity, isn't it? Because now everything's so flooded, the, the eight broke. <laughs> it became a nine. <laughs> became so a you're nine. like, oh my god, it's a nine. Why? Because the tsunami hit it. It became a nine. I really like the flood scale now. Yeah, I never, knew, I never knew it was so accurate. <laughs> it's so good. I'm going to be if honest, you I can wrote see it an off. eight, you basically need to get indoors because you're going to get a nine. I, I wrote it off too early, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I think you pre 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 I pre it. I just assumed... In going in numerical order, right? That's it. nine. You, you took numbers and you didn't think about it. It's like seven, eight, nine, isn't it? It's like that. I'm sorry, Harry Floodington. I wrote off your scale too soon. Does that mean seven's worse than actually seven worse than nine? Seven, eight, nine. So nine got eaten by seven. So seven's obviously a beast. So, so does it go one, one six, to six is five? Eight, infinity, nine, seven. Yeah. Maybe that's how the numbers are meant to be. That's a good point. And someone moved them round to confuse people. So you're like at six level and then you're at seven. That can't be bad because we all know eights. But then seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. And then seven's like a... And seven's horrendous. Global killer. So when so when the weather people are putting out the warnings and they go, guys, by the way, this is a flood seven. And people are like, seven? That's why they stopped changing. That's why I changed it to colours. Because people didn't understand the number scale. The, the severity of a seven. Yeah, because it... it You'd think it makes it. It makes sense to us. No, it's quite, it's quite simple expl- scale. They've actually. explained it. Quite it's, simple scale. It's actually really effective because yeah. you you know where you stand. One to six, you're fine. Yeah. Seven, deadly, like end of the world. Yeah. Eight, fine. Infinity, <laughs> bad. Yeah. Nine, bad. Not bad, yeah. Yeah. And people didn't understand that. So, oh, yeah. I mean, they, I, I can't judge. I didn't understand it. So, I yeah. understand where they're coming from. But as soon as it's explained to them, they still didn't understand it. Okay, that's that's. Not I mean, right. they got it posted on flyers to the houses. I mean, that's a bit over the top. I mean, if they had this information, and they didn't understand. That's done. That's on them. Well, it was more one of those. Here's your instructions. Keep them close. Put it on your fridge. Oh, and they just ignored it. <sighs> yeah. And so they, all right, well, we've got to go to colours now. So they've gone red, bad, green, good. <laughs> well, that's not that, that. That is a bad scale. I will preemptively say that now. Yeah, but just two levels then. Red, bad. Green, good. They have colours in between. Okay. Like a scaling system. Like a blue. Yeah. I think, actually, blue might be less than green. Oh, sorry. It might be like red, bad, blue, good. Green, slightly good. And then sort of a yellowy, orange, magenta, red. Magenta's worse than red, actually. The, mm. the colour scale's not great. Either, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I want to stick back to um, the normal flood okay. system. Okay. So... Let's go with if 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 it's gonna be a world end of the world situation, so it's not gonna se- be a, a seven. It's gonna be a seven. Okay. A push, it's gonna be an eight. No, an infinity. No, an, sorry. Okay, and so say yeah. it's gonna be an, a seven, or infinity, an, or, or nine. A, yeah, well, no, infinity. The nine's basically all over, isn't it? Well, no, because seven, eight, nine, seven's the highest. Oh uh, yeah. So what we're saying, we're saying an infinity. an infinity or a nine. Anywhere between infinity and seven. Okay. It's so, gonna be anywhere between infinity, okay. nine, or seven. So in infinity or seven, anywhere between there. It's going to be quite deep. Okay. That we need a good irrigation tubing system and a good tubing and an air intake system. Would a, a bunker like that have its own like oxygen system, a system to pump oxygen in? Because then you could have a really tall um, straw. <laughs> <laughs> the integrity of a straw. Also, you can't get 
like plastic straws. You can only get paper straws, and paper doesn't hold up against... That's a terrible mistake. Yeah, it's like rock, paper, scissors, but paper, straw, water, calendar. Okay, so water dampened straw. Yep. Straw pokes hole in calendar. Yep. And then calendar floats on water. Yep. Huh, that makes sense. Well, you knew this. We're just telling you because we play this all the time. Yeah. But if you ever want to play, you know how to play now. But yes, yeah, so we all know paper straws can't hold up against water. So we should make them out of calendars? Yes. Calendar tubes. Rolled up calendars. So you wouldn't need oxygen tanks? However, the hole at the top. So if the water did get high enough, you would need a, an outlet. Also, a turkey could lay a roost on your air hole. And then close it up. <laughs> and then close it up. If it leaves an egg there as well. <laughs> and turkeys lay eggs. They must do. What's a female turkey? A turklet. <laughs> turkey. <laughs> turkey. <laughs> <laughs> turkey yeah a female turkey I don't know are, are they just turkeys is it not like a, a chicken and a rooster is there not an, a, an alternative I don't know there's got to be something female turkey or maybe tur- a I turkey is a female ah. and a male is something another bird that we just don't know another an ostrich <laughs> yeah an ostrich could be a male okay I do but ostrich lay eggs do you oh yeah because you can get ostrich eggs yeah, yeah but you can get no, they're not asexual. The only one I know is seahorse. Sea horse Seahorses? Horse Horse eye? Horse Horses? Seahorse eye? Seahorse eye. Only there's a type of seahorse eye that males give birth and they are do. pregnant, yeah. So it could be an ostrich. He's also a male, but people just haven't checked. Because oh, yeah. they're real fast, so you can't you can't get close enough to check. They're the fastest uh, land bird, aren't they? But they're they the only land bird. What other land birds are there? Chicken? Yeah, but they can fly, can't they? Chickens can fly. Wingless chicken. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fair. A wingless chicken. They're not fast either, so I would say an ostrich still. They're actually very unbalanced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because actually they put their wings out to balance. Yeah. Because when ostrich run, they, they put their wings out yeah. to balance. Okay, so pros of a treehouse. Are you a pie? One minute. Well, so is a pro of a bunker that it's underground then? Now. In with in certain situations, in okay. a windy situation, yes. In a flood situation, no. But this works against the treehouse because in a wind situation, the treehouse is a negative. But in a flood Unless situation, you build. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, but we built our tube out of calendars, which we know is good against water. So we'll just line our tree with what's good against wind. Pokemon cards. <laughs> yes. But only wind Pokemon. Only wind Pokemon. So like no, Pidgeot no, be, and stuff. be lightning that's good against wind. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. I forgot you're the Pokemon person. So yeah, we'd have to get lots of lightning Pokemon. So you just line your tree with Pikachus. They'd love it as well. They would. Because they're band together. And then you just have like a Raichu at the top. A what? A Raichu? <laughs> yeah, close, close. What is it? Yeah, I mean, it's just Raichu you overpronounce in the eye. Oh, okay. I don't know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think the other de- negative of a bunker is once you're in, you're in, essentially, aren't you? That's sort of the point of a bunker is you you bunker down. Yeah, but I also think then it's difficult to check what's going on around. No, that's what I'm saying. That, so when we're in a treehouse, you've got a vantage point. And also if you do need to leave the treehouse, you, it's just a treehouse ladder. Whereas bunker, I mean, I'm guessing there's some sort of security handshake system you have to bypass. You just set cameras up shortly. What do you mean? So you can still see outside? Yeah, but that, you can't you can't set cameras up everywhere. Yeah, you set them up in the trees. Yeah, but how many cameras are you going to have? Six. <laughs> a six isn't enough to cover everything. No, because I only need it near the bunker. No, but that's what this is what I'm saying is you you can create a vicinity around the bunker, a shore, and you can have a secure proximity. Yeah. But what if you want to leave to go for a walk? Yeah, but you couldn't do that with a tree house either. Well, you can leave the tree house. You can come out. Yeah, but then I can check the camera before I leave the bunker to see if there's yeah, anyone around. But you only know it's safe. In that immediate area, whereas a treehouse, you've got quite a high vantage point. You can look oh, out so quite you, far. Yeah, by the time you go down, you could have also had something appear. Well, it's true, but I'm, I'm just saying there is a vantage point aspect to a treehouse that I think a bunker doesn't have. It's a good view as well, like a penthouse suite that costs a lot of money. And also, if you put a periscope on top of your treehouse, that's a real high vantage point. Yeah, that is, that's probably the highest vantage point. It's the highest vantage point you can get. Also, people associate the higher buildings as... Being more wealthy. So in a bunker, you're in a dungeon, are you? Like ah, prisoner. People think you're some rich person, but that just opens treehouse. you up to be mugged. If they can get up there. If they can get up there, that's why you. You try rub... getting past a bunch of Pikachus and Raichu. <laughs> that's also why you rub loads of pineapple juice on the tree trunk. Nah, you don't need to. Well, it helps. No, that's only if you can't afford the Pikachu. 
Yeah, but it's an extra. You know, proportion. pineapple conducts electricity, so you're going to burn your tree down. You can't have the the pineapple juice and the Pikachu. You have the Pikachu. Yeah, but the you just juice. put the pineapple juice around the sort of the first two three meters, so people can't get a good presence on the bottom of the tree to start climbing. I think it's risky, but I understand where you're coming from. And that way, you've got a little bit of extra protection at the base. Yeah, but I also feel like if that were to catch fire, you're stuck in a tree. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the that's the worst place. Unless to be. you have a neighbouring tree house. You could have a swarm of tree houses. Like um, being able to go to different yeah. tree houses. And then you can set up bridges between them or rope Vacation. Swings. I'm going to my vacation spot. Yeah. Where's that? Just there? Over there? My palm tree. <laughs> Seven of palm trees are. Do palm trees get high enough to put a tree house in? I don't know how tall palm trees get. Some of them do, yeah. Okay. I didn't think they did until I tried to throw a rock at a coconut because... He was shouting abuse at you. Basically. He was trying to hit me on the head. <laughs> no, I'm not if I hit you first. Throw a rock. Couldn't get it all the way up. But that is that probably that because you have no hands to throw the rock. So I'm guessing you're trying to fling it from your mouth. Some... I also don't... I'm not very accurate. So completely missed a tree. Completely missed a coconut. Didn't know what I was doing when I was throwing it. I've seen other people throw before. I'm aware of the concept. I just don't know how to get my muscles to do that to action. To do that action. Well, it's difficult Beautiful. when you have no arms and hands to, to do the same, mimic the action, when we're just sort of swinging our head. Yeah. <laughs> you can also get real dizzy pretty quick. Also, if you don't get the right rock, it can slip out of your mouth. And if you get, you can get a dirty rock and no one wants grit in their mouth. And no. There's so many more different things you need to consider when you're mouth rock throwing. I, th- I feel like there's too many different things you need to consider. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of variations where each one would be a, a positive over the other. But personally, out of just preference, I would rather be in a treehouse. I think I'd prefer a treehouse as well because I like being high. Like, we're always in a worm craft. We can see everything. I'm too used to that. If some of them puts me in a bunker, I'd feel like a trapped animal. And I think you've got more room for um, expansions in a treehouse. Whereas once you're in a bunker, you'd have to ex- excavate the ground to do anything. And then it's a lot of work. Yeah. If you wanted to put like a little conservatory on there or something. Whereas a treehouse, you've got sort of open ramp within reason. The, I also the feel like a conservatory would be pointless because you don't have a glass roof on something you're trying to. Well, that is the other. The other kind is if I put a conservatory on my bunker, I'm wasted my time. <laughs> yep. And then my conservatory building skills are wasted. <laughs> and then your bunker's going to get flooded even more. So yeah, for the sake of the conservatory, I'll have the. Bunker. I think I'd also like to do a treehouse because so many people consider a bunker when a world ending yeah bunkers go to I think they have the market cornered if I'm honest and I think it's kind of unfair they're more expensive I would reckon them because everybody's going to try to do that so I think maybe if you branched out maybe we should start a business treehouse survival 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 treehouses I think STH yeah I think there is some sort of monopoly on the market here where if someone's banded together and they're they're pushing bunkers as the safest option where it's not necessarily the case I think people aren't going to go with it to start with but if we build a treehouse... They will come. They will come. All of the treehouse lovers and the... And the bunker converts. It's soy then. Treehouse it is. Treehouse it is. Also, you get to use pineapple juice. Favourite juice. Love it. Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards. Love it. Perfect. Dream house. And then, we, like we said, we can expand. And we can get periscopes. We want one each. We'd have one on the north and south facing sides. So we can see both sides. At all times, so we're never attacked from any side because there's only two sides. There is only two sides. North and south. There's up and down, but they don't count. They don't count. They're not sides. Well, because we're up in the tree, we're up there, and the pineapple's down, so we're, covered. we're protected. Yeah, yeah. so it's fine. Tree house is. As you can see, that's that was answered. Don't worry about that. Don't even think about you know having to question any of that. Just go get yourself a tree house. If you want to do, if you do want a tree house, Google STH tree houses or. Email us at connect to the world at gmail.com. And we'll we'll get you a design set up and catered to you. It will cost you towels. See, I've got the towels. Yes. We can start business. There we go. They'll never know. So yeah, this is the beginning of the start again, I guess. We're back recording, so no- for another famous five episodes and we're gone again. We so, won't. Season two. See this is season two, yeah? Season two. If five episodes a season disappear. At the stratosphere. Yeah, blast out. Yep. Do, do a loop de loop. Come back around. Do a five forty. Some planets, and then we'll we'll tell you of the visits. Indeed. No, we we don't plan to leave this time. No. We just we just we never planned to leave. In the beginning, it was just the confusion. recording situation. Yeah, confusion. We 
just started using the new controls. We had so many expansions on the Wormcraft from who who did the work? Oh, the Bears. The Bears did the expansions the did on the, the Wormcraft, and we'd had uh, Dwayne Johnson come up and Terry Crews, and you know, people we just forgotten how to fly, and we just felt we need to go back to our roots, reinvigorate our worm, and recalibrate. Go back to the home brain, recalibrate the home brain, come back with some new juicy topics for you. And hopefully you have more juicy topics for us. So remember, questions, send them our way. Say hi. Fruit emoji. Make sure. Please tell us who you are or where you are or, you know, just Anything? a little bit about you. So we just kind of know what's going on yeah. and who who's spreading the, the worm word other than worm words with. He does spread a lot. And Barack Obama. Oh, <laughs> he loves spreading the worms. He does. On toast. Yeah, I think he might. Have, he may have spread the rumour that we'd, you know, kind of disappeared we didn't ask him to he did it anyway he just did it on his own on his own back but ex-president can't really argue with him no but um yeah definitely a big thank you to anybody who has downloaded us during lockdown because however you've managed to find us and decide to download us is beyond us because we don't we don't know we don't even know how to find us (laughs) we do appreciate it though because it has made us want to come back and do it again i mean not that we weren't we were genuinely going to be back anyway but it has made us think that you know we have actual people listening so and we, we came back a little bit sooner because we were going to wait a little bit longer and, yeah. but we're just too excited to um, find out who you are and give you some more content so definitely message us fax us email us text us wave at us blow kisses at us any form of communication you can think of that you can get in contact with us do it do it we'll take handwritten sentiments and sediment I'll say, if you want to send me some sediment <laughs> at least I know you're there yeah we love sediment don't get enough of it in space. Good um, structure for our tree houses. It would. Excellent structure. Yeah, I think this is wrapping us up for this one at least. Once again, thanks. Contact us and watch this space, I guess. Not all of space, it's big, but. No, this, just the this bit space. of space we're in. This yeah. space. This is the only space you need. If you look up, it's a little bit to the left. If you see a big star, two left. If you see a right, little star, two right. I don't know why you'd go right because we've told you left. I understand some people get confused. Yeah. Up, a little bit left. That's us. Easy. Wave. We'll yeah, we'll, do, we'll, we'll probably see. We've got a really good sight. I'm really good at squinting. I can't see you squinting. Oh, God. You were squinting out the window right now. We're squinting at you. Well, thank you. And... Worm out. Worm out. Bye. Bye. Bye.